Hello, everyone. Christopher Beast here from VSL, and we are making a um, explanation video on what is Vigor Rivals. For you, those of you that have absolutely no clue what exactly uh, Vigor Rivals even is, Vigor Rivals is a pro community for Vigor that was led and founded by Smokey Dopey from the Honorable Bandits. It is extreme. It has been extensively play tested and was refined from both dev input and due to multiple testing periods over the last three months, which makes it the greatest pro community in Vigor. So, how do you join? Well, in order to join Rivals, because it is a pro community, not just anyone can join. You're going to have to prove yourself. And in order to prove yourself, you have to get through the Outlander Trials. In the description, there will be a link to the Outlander Trial Discord, which is where the entire um, competition for uh, Trials even starts and uh, goes on. If you can win Trials, you'll be able to join Rivals, and Rivals has um, much better rewards. And it's really the true pro community. Well, Trials is just, you know, a feeder. So how does this even work? Rivals and Trials both use the same sto uh, scoring system for deciding who wins. This system being a, a point system. Kills give you 12 points each, an airdrop gives you 25, and loot gives you a maximum of 21 points. Whoever has the highest score in the tournament wins. So, for those of you wondering, how exactly do these matches work? Do I just... Like, what happens? So, when a tournament finally begins, um, and an admin or mod tells you in the Discord, whether that be OTTG or Arrivals, to actually start your matches, and you're going to have to go hit Quick Play. You can't choose a map, you have to hit Quick Play. Um, most of the time, the way it's currently done... Now, there has been talks about private service for rivals, but the idea of these competitions is to see how you fare as a as a gr amazing player by yourself. So we're going to throw you against normal, average day players because, like, not only is it pretty hard to get private lobbies that are pretty, like, well done and, and have everyone in them and they're well organized, but it's also not exactly necessary because if you can go and, and destroy five people in a normal match, then that is enough to prove that you're a very good player. While you're in these matches, you're just going to play the match like a normal player, do as best you can, get as many points as you can, but once you reach the end of the match, you're going to walk uh, on the end screen, you're going to need to take a picture or a screenshot of that and send it over Discord. Normally this will be through a uh, end of match screenshot channel, but the mods may tell you to do some, send it somewhere else. You want to... After each match, you send the screenshot and you wait until a mod or admin says that your screenshot is fine, and then you continue. You're going to keep playing matches till you tweet all of the matches in that session. So, whether that be six, sometimes it's three, sometimes we do testers of seven. When you reach the end of, the, of all of your matches, your score will be tallied up and a winner will be decided. The winner of Rivals gets some sort of compensation, while the winner of Outlanders is to join Rivals. So, if you've joined Trials already, as I said before, the link is in the description. And, um... You want to, like, you, what are the steps you should make so that way you can definitely participate in the next one? First thing first, you're going to have to register. Most of the time, there will be a separate chat for that. Again, sometimes there will be exceptions. Um, you want to register in the separate chat or just register however the mods are telling you to register for the next competition. For Outlanders in specific, um, you just want to register for either, whatever competition is coming next. Most of the time, it will be Midweek Madness and then f uh, uh, Saturday something i forget the actual name of it but once you do that you're gonna wait until the time of the competition and as i said before you're gonna go through the matches get the highest score and you'll get your reward depending on how well you do if you have any questions actually actually before i finish up i do want to make, clarify something any weapons are allowed you theoretically could walk in with an adr and wipe the entire map yeah, yeah we're not going to stop you from that the idea is if you're going to do that, and that's how you're good at the game, like, fine by you. Uh, like, it's just, it's just what happens. Uh, any weapons are a lab, any heals are a lab. You either bring anything you want. For loot, parts don't count for score, and neither do weapons. So the only thing that counts for loot is materials and food. Um, for the loot points, at least. Hopefully you are interested, and if you are, once again, got that link in that description. And I hope to see you in OTTG. And eventually even rivals. This has been Christopher Beast. I'll see you guys next time.